Hello, Senior Stoner fan. The real Senior Stoner back at you with my new favorite thing. Crossing Technologies really, really did a great job. I'm totally impressed. And what I want to do is I want to almost use this thing daily. I'm looking for something. Well, forget about that. I'll tell you why I want to use it daily. Because it's versatile, okay? This is not about the price right now. It's about the flexibility. And I, and I figured a way that I don't burn myself doing it. The key flexibility for me is between triple coil, quartz, and titanium in terms of the buckets. And I got to tell you, each one delivers something different. So I have to give them hats off on this. They've really done a great job on figuring out what to do so that everybody has something. Does that make anything uh, any sense? The core, the core, which is its name, having these three atomizer options and not being a, I don't know, a bong with a pipe in it with those options, okay? Because you could have made it like that. This is done the same way everybody else has done e-rigs. A couple other things I like uh, about the unit before we use it. I really like the ball cap that came with it. This is a really good way to stir your vapor, I've learned. And I like the fact that the glass is a wide mouth. Now, as with all devices that are e-rigs, you've got to take a look and maintain the inside, okay? And make sure you have good airflow. But let's take a, a look at this bad boy. Let, let's put it through its paces. Right now, I have the titanium in there. Each one delivers something different. Let's take a look together at some of those differences. Get a nice piece of diamond. This is the Senior Stoner blend, my private blend that I have made. So we're going to start with that. And really, the key, I think, is not to put in super amount, crazy amount. You don't want to overload the bowl. The bowl's big. Don't get me wrong. But if you overload the bowl, the test or the comparison isn't going to go the same way. So a little bit will do you. A little dab will do you in this case. Let's turn it on. Here we go. And let's heat it up in the green setting. Now... Through the ball cap, if you look down, you can see the melting taking place. But let's hold it like this. A couple things also to keep in mind. With the titanium bucket and the quartz bucket, try to stay in the center with your dabs. Try not to put things on the sides. The titanium gives really good taste and vapor. So taste and vapor volume. Excellent. Really is. Okay. So now, did you take note that the heat up time was almost instantaneous? It was. Well, that's the nature of titanium. You're going to see when we switch it out to the quartz that the quartz be a little bit slower in its heating. Now, remember what I said, it's hot. So when you pull the sleeve off, make sure you don't touch it with your bare hands. Bring out your pliers, your needle nose pliers, and gently start turning it counterclockwise to remove it. Okay? Don't want to bend it. You don't want to squeeze it really hard with the pliers. You want enough action so you can get it moving. And then you can play with it with your finger just as long as it's not too hot for you. Okay? Counterclockwise all the way till it comes out. Might take a second. Remember, it's hot, so you got to be very careful. All right? It's not about speed. It's about not hurting yourself. Okay. Then you take the bucket and put it aside. A 
Well, what I did is I took the bucket off. I didn't take off the atomizer, dummy Jim. Okay. So you want to squeeze the whole unit together with your needle nose pliers so you don't do what I just did and just get the bucket. You want to get the entire atomizer out. Okay, there it is. The next one we're going to put in is going to be the quartz, the quartz bucket. And we're going to try that one for speed and for amount of clouds to get a true comparison. Put our sleeve back on. We're going to use the same temperature, everything the same. I'm going to do a cold load. I'm going to get a dab from the diamonds from the house. A small dab, not a big one. Just enough for the one hit. I don't want a dab roach with this. I want to make the comparison. So we had flavor and volume and pretty much instantaneous on with the titanium. Let's see what the quartz does. Okay, heat it up. It's heating. Starting to see some vapor rise, some bubbles in there, seeing some vapor rising in there. Vapor is rising, vapor is rising, vapor is rising. Here we go. Cheers. Less cloudy. Not cotton ball. Good flavor. So, <coughs> makes sense. It's a little bit lighter. It's for the flavor hound. So, this unit has an option for people who want the flavor. I got to tell you, that's the thing they came up with. Crossing did their homework. This didn't happen by accident, okay? They did their homework to figure out that if they want to hit all customers, all customers, they had to offer all three buckets. What do you think of that? Okay, that's my guess on how they did this and why. Now we're going to unplug this. Same way. Careful, because it's hot, of course. Get it out, put it aside. Well, the final one for us to put in is going to be that triple coil. Old-fashioned technology, but I think we're going to be favorably surprised. If you're looking for a hit, I get asked pretty often on my channel, Hey, Senior Stoner, what's the one that's going to give me the biggest rip? Now, I can't even take a rip sometimes off the switch. Okay, because it gets so hard. This little puppy, I think, is going to really impress us. Remember, it's a coil. Here we go. We're going to put the same material inside. Remember, the whole idea of a comparison is to be fair and equitable. So we're going to put the same diamond, virtually the same amount, house diamonds right on top of the coils okay right in the center of the three coils let's see what happens triple coil atomizer I expect the clouds to be insane instant clouds it's going already cheers Look at that. I can't even take it. I'm not even going to suck that out. That's for demo purposes only. Look at it bubbling up inside. It's insane. So, what did Crossing do? Oof. Crossing wanted to have that option. Again, I have to give it to them. They wanted to have the option of... <laughs> I can't take the hit. This is it. So I hope you watched, hope you enjoyed watching today's Crossing Technologies core e-rig. New on the market, three atomizers, quartz, titanium, and this one, the killer, 
the triple coil. Hope you enjoyed. This is the real senior stoner. Have a great day.